The mention of witchcraft evokes in many of us an image of mysterious naked creatures gathered around a bubbling cauldron, casting evil spells and practicing black magic rituals. But we may all have got the wrong end of the broomstick, according to two practicing white witches, Janet and Stuart Farrow, who are with us today. And today they published their second book on modern witchcraft, The Witch's Way. Now, first of all, you are both white witches. What does a white witch mean? It means uh, somebody who tries to develop and use psychic powers for useful and uh, constructive purposes, healing and so on. Is this a kind of religion? Do you believe in God or the devil? It's we the oldest religion on earth. Mm. It's, lo it's much older than Christianity. It goes back literally to the time when we were cavemen. And no, we do not worship the devil. We're not Satanists. What we do worship is the same creative being that Christians worship, Jews, Muslims, Hindus, except we personify it as the male and female, God and goddess. And in witchcraft, the female principle of God, God the mother, rules. We feel that God's not exactly dead, but he's a bit of a grass widower. So what's the basic teaching of white witchery, then, if I've got that right? <laughs> white witchcraft. White witchcraft, right. The craft, we tend to call yes. it. Yes. Uh, the basic teaching is that um, reality exists on many levels, you know, the mm -hmm. physical, the, the mental, the astral, and the spiritual, and so on. And uh, therefore, you try to develop your powers on all those levels. Everyone's got them, just like everyone's got muscles. But if you want to go in for the Olympics, you have to train them. Witchcraft does have a bad name for nudity, children, virgins, rituals. Do you need all of those sort of things? Now, why do you lump them together? Why? Well, that's and what people start. think, isn't it's it? It's like sex yeah. and violence, you know. You know the but do you, do you use all those things? Do you need we them? We scratch nude, yes. Yeah. yes. But, I mean, what is wrong with the naked body? Come on, be honest. We all have this incredible hang-up about our bodies. In actual fact, there is nothing more straightforward than a naked body, because once you've taken the clothes off of that person, my God, basically, most of us look diabolical. And as far as running around woods after dark, when the moon is full, we do practice after dark when the moon is full. Mm. The reason being is at that time, nature is at its most peaceful. And we are a nature-based religion. We're part of the earth, and we put ourselves in tune with the earth. And um, quite honestly, anyone who's ever been to a witch's coven, you'll never find sex orgies and you'll never find drugs involved. You'll also never find um, children under the age of 18 because um, we stick within the law and we do not initiate until you're 18 years old. And um, I find it's not only a very peaceful way of life, but most sensible, which is if we do practice outside, we use land that belongs to friends of ours so that we don't end up being arrested, etc. Mm. How did you both become involved, Stuart, first? I did the same as you're doing. I mean, I was a feature writer on Rivali at the time and I was sent to interview some witches and it, uh, it appealed to me. And what about you, Janet? Well, I was brought up a very strict Christian, and a friend of mine became involved in the occult, and I was a little wary. The only sort of occult I knew was the thing I'd read in the newspapers. I was so impressed by the people and the work they were doing, I decided to stay. Became involved myself, met this one, and married him. The people in your little village, what do they think of you both? Do you think you're They're loopy? Very, very friendly. Um, uh, as you know, we live in Ireland, and the Irish love eccentrics, anyway. And the, uh, the village wise woman is a natural part of the scenery, always has been. And that's, and you, and that's the role Janet's been cast in, yes. How um, do you practically help them? What is. Well, a good witch has to be, for example, a psychologist. They also have to have a degree of medical knowledge. They have to have um, friends who are, say, doctors who are sympathetic. But I'm a mixture. I'm a herbalist, I'm a psychologist. Uh, marriage guidance counsellor, baby minder, and just about everything else. Because she can that, cook too. I can cook too. <laughs> but the local women, they come to me um, practically every day of the week for assistance and advice. I get a lot of mothers who bring their teenage daughters along, especially in a Catholic country, where I find myself giving them the facts of life and sex education.